Hi folks, welcome back. My name is Ray Arrowwood and I am a generalist. In this episode we're going to explore spontaneous human combustion and plasma discharge. To better understand uh, plasma discharge I suggest you watch my uh, first two videos on the California wildfires and plasma discharge. Most human spontaneous combustion occurs indoors and 75% of the people involved are female. The body burns very hot, but the room doesn't catch on fire. This photo here tells the story of what happened. Notice the red plasma glow in the room. And notice the small galaxy shaped plasma formations in the lower part of the picture. Also notice the glass of water next to the body or alcohol maybe and also notice the plasma discharge from the water going over to the body also notice that the plasma discharge takes a left hand 90 degree angle at the guy's crotch and heads upwards if you watch my California wildfires video then you already know what those factors mean Here's an interesting picture of a woman with her hands on fire. And if you look closely, you can see the plasma tube connected to the end of the uh, flames off her uh, hands. Now, why would a person's hands catch on fire first? The answer is because plasma is polar and our hands and body are polar. Our bodies also have a bioelectric field around them. When a plasma discharge takes place between a positive and negative electrode, you can see that it forms a plasma ring also. The plasma consumes everything with inside the ring and leaves the legs behind. Here's a good shot of a uh, guy getting struck by a plasma discharge in his home. Here's evidence of a plasma ring burn. Now that everybody's carrying cell phones around, we're starting to see more images like this on the net. Notice the plasma stream between the air and the ground, and the arc discharge between the plasma stream to the guy's hand. Here's another one. Notice the plasma structure that the discharge is coming from. This one's incredible. Plasma discharge straight down from above her. Lit that woman up. This is a plasma discharge from the California wildfires video. Here's another strange one. Uh, it looks like the plasma discharge was right behind him and one end of it hit him and came in through his head. Here's another person that was in the wrong place at the wrong time. As you can see, the bodies aren't always reduced to ash. My guess is that these are completely dehydrated and carbonized. This is a good picture here. You can see several plasma discharges coming from the ground. And you can see uh, plasma discharge coming from the two orbs uh, above the guy's head. And you can see the plasma stream uh, coming down and the striking him right in the hand and I think in his head too. These kind of events have been happening for ages but they're just getting more common right now. Plasma balls have also been seen for ages and I went over these pretty extensively in the second California wildfires video. We're seeing an increasing amount of plasma discharge events all over the planet right now. And that's due to the continuing decline in the Earth's magnetic fields. Along with the decline in solar activity. And an increase in cosmic ray influx. Here's an oddball picture here that doesn't fit the typical profile. You can see that the ground plasma came out right at her feet. But what had attracted it there? I think the answer to that question is the campfire because what is fire? It's, it's plasma. 
natural plasma without any electrical component to it. I believe that most human combustion, which isn't spontaneous, uh, occurs indoors because the house's electrical system and associated magnetic field uh, attracts a discharge event uh, like a lightning rod. And I believe that 75% of the victims are female is because a lot of women stay at home. This is a cave painting somewhere. Do you see the glowing orbs in the sky? Do you see the arc discharges? Can you see the plasma tubes and the glow discharge from the ground? My gut feeling on this cave painting is that these people are praying to those gods up there in the sky not to strike them down. This looks like a stylized plasma tornado. Uh, pretty good artist uh, for a caveman. I love this picture here. It's clearly see a Birkeland current going through the atmosphere and a uh, plasma structure. It's like a spaceship or something, but that's what plasma structures look like awful lot of concentric uh, spiral circles in this uh, picture here. I see a big black circular cloud and a glowing orb and a line going over to a, a guy that looks like he's running. This looks like lightning and plasma structures to me and they even colored it red. My gut feeling on this picture here is that these people are saying we are the survivors. That's it for this video. Watch out for plasma discharge and I'll see you next time.